all the spiked brands shutting their stores. Now shopping centers, well plenty of people I guess will have some money to spend as this stimulus package is approved by the parliament. So will you be able to head out to, I don't know, maybe help stimulate the economy and deal with some retail therapy yourself? Certainly not, hopefully not to fight over whatever toilet paper is left, but some larger shopping centres will easily draw more than 500 people to store. I mean, it's a little strange, but I guess these are, these are people moving around. Uh, it's not static, if you like. Uh, public spaces are still fine to visit, according to the Prime Minister, sitting in your local cinema, doing your weekly grocery shop, or wandering around shopping centres are not banned. Uh, now, after Friday's announcement, the Chairman of the Shopping Centre Council of Australia, Peter Allen, released a statement in relation to the ban. He said, and I quote, The shopping centre industry is taking necessary precautions and following relevant, uh, uh, relevant health advice to support their people and customers in response to COVID-19, while balancing business continuity for the local community and the broader economy. Well, sport, boy, oh boy. Well, we know that the NRL is in an absolute mess at the moment. I mean, fans have been left in limbo and there are fears that the Warriors will actually be leaving the National Rugby League, perhaps going back home to New Zealand. And of course, when they do get home to New Zealand, they'd have to self-quarantine, if you like, for 14 days, according to uh, Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister's latest ruling. So what does it all mean? Well, the NRL has made a decision on what the future of the season holds as the sports world is thrown into chaos. Uh, I mean, I don't really understand why the league, I guess, is crying so poor. I mean, they made 50 odd million dollars profit last year and I know that they will spend some cash to try and at least prop up or keep the cash flow going for a number of clubs. But they do say, and I understand this, the financial hit will be catastrophic if we can't let people into the grounds. Todd Greenberg, Peter Belandi has admitted the threat of coronavirus is the greatest challenge rugby league has ever faced and they've also said the financial impact of the pandemic would be catastrophic if the season is suspended but they haven't put a specific number on it. Uh, well what do you say to this? I mean I also understand too that they are really in effect leaning on the federal government, that is us taxpayers, uh, for some financial compensation. Uh, well, sorry, uh, I don't know whether that's the right measure to take at this stage. I mean, it's a professional sport, it has sponsorship, um, you know, uh, how do you rule on whether or not this is an act of God? Well, I don't know what the clauses mean. Surely there should be some sort of compensation that's put into contracts. I mean, if the rugby league is suspended, if you like, and whatever, if any of our national sports are suspended, and plenty of them are, uh, what does that mean for advertisers? What does it mean for television rights, all the rest of it? Uh, I mean, what compensation measures are in place? Look, Jeff at Newington has asked us a question this morning. How do you catch the coronavirus? Well, again, the coronavirus is thought to spread mainly from person to person. This can happen between people for a couple. Uh, so what they're saying for social distancing is that you should avoid group gatherings, sleepovers, play dates, concerts, theatre outings, athletic events, crowded retail stores, malls, workouts in gymnasiums, visitors in your own home, really, non-essential workers in your house and mass transit systems. Well, that's going to be good when people rely on public transport to get to work. They commute to work in the morning. There are around thousands of people. What is safe to do? Well, it's safe to go for a walk, to go for a hike. Uh, it's safe to, well, to perform hard work, or yard work, sorry, yard work. It's safe to play in the yard, to clean out a closet, to read a good book, listen to music, cook a meal, family game night, go for a drive, group video chat, stream a favorite show, check on a friend, and of course, check on elderly and vulnerable neighbors. So that's the whole issue behind social distancing. Get to your calls. Are you there, William? Yes, I am, Marcus. How are you, mate? I'm well, thank you, mate. Thanks for your call this morning. What did you want to say? Marcus, there's a, there's a certain brand name out there. I've just driven past three of them, and the price of that fuel is $1.67. Name, 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 off you go. I don't mind. 7-Eleven. Yeah, OK. 
around the corner for me for a dollar seven.